get you a table, or is this a grab-and-go? No, uh, actually, Crystal, I'd, I'd really like to talk to you about tech. Why can't we do something more pleasant, like, say, pour scalding coffee on our laps? You said it was important. It is. I, uh, I, I got the, the DNA samples, Stuart's DNA samples, and... I had Angie run every test she could think of on the things, and I'm sorry. It is the truth. He's not your biological son. It's no surprise, really. Bailey said he wasn't anyway, so... And we're paying for child support now, right? It's awesome. Don't do that. Not to me. It hurts. It's got to... I'm cool. Really? Really? Cool. You know, it's funny because, you know, somebody up and told me that you weren't my boy. I'd be hurting pretty badly. Are you sure you don't want something to eat? You should see the breakfast spread of the Chandlers, man. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I mean, you know, it's nice having a staff, but... You know, occasionally a man gets tired of waking up to poached eggs and truffle oil. Well, Sometimes the body longs for something a little more homey. And uh, if that's the case with you, then the you know, man cave is still available. Really? Mm hmm Really? Would that come with, like, a curfew, though? Because, you know, I'm not one of the kids. <clears throat> no, you're not. Um, okay, uh, I'll make you a deal. If you were to, say, tell me where you are and when about you thought about getting home, I think I'd be happy to let you come and go. I'm gonna need access to a car on a regular basis. What, is this, is this now a negotiation? Well, show me what you got. Crystal, I'm sorry I was such a jerk when it came to Ted. I mean, it's just that, you know, we were so happy. And then all of a sudden, he just turned on me, and I don't know why. You know, I, I really think this is a conversation you need to be having with Ted. Uh, yeah, well, I've tried. Believe me, I've tried, but he's just, he's just so busy, you know, with Damon. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now it's Damon's fault. <laughs> Please, that kid just tried to use his fake idea again to go gambling and drinking. Got himself into another fight at the casino and got arrested He's again. trying to figure things oh, out. Please, Crystal, come on, stop making excuses for him. You know, if my daughter had gotten arrested, it would have wrecked her whole future. Not to mention he almost killed her in a car wreck. Please. Uh, look, I understand your fear, okay? I had two daughters that married J.R. Chandler, but you have to trust your daughter. Damon is bad news. And, come on, Tad would rather push me aside than support me in this. But you, he's not pushing anywhere. Well, for one reason, I'm not bad Mally's his son. Yeah, but if you did, I'm sure he would listen. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I get the inference. Tad and I are friends, okay? We're just friends. Not that it's any of your business. Okay, but you can't say it's not a little weird, right? Living under the same roof. Raising Jenny and Kathy together when you're really not together. We have an understanding. Hmm. Is that what you call it? Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you're just playing it safe because you're too afraid to get close. <laughs> I've never settled for that. <sighs> no, I... My own space and freedom all the time. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, just the way I roll, Chuck. The only problem is this is a negotiation and therefore requires a little give and take. Whether you like it or not, as far as I'm concerned, you are now and always will be a part of this family, and therefore there are a couple responsibilities involved. Number one, you have to spend time with me and this tribe every now and then. Well, I guess I could be available for your little game night. And no, thing. no, 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 no game night. I'm talking about something like Jake and Amanda's wedding. No way, man. No, count me out. Weddings are so not my thing. You want that car? You'll be there. You're a tough negotiator. You have no idea. 
<laughs> really eat for I was thinking. Yeah? As long as you own the joint. How's about we set up something special, like a, a homecoming shindig for, for Damon? Ooh. That sounds great, yeah. Whatever you want me to do for Damon, I'm in. Great. I don't know if anybody can set it up. You or me. After all, we are a hell of a team. Yeah. yeah. We're a great team. And I, I, I love what we got going on at the house. You know, I love the girls. You know what, Dad? I'm sorry, but sometimes you act like we're together. And, and we're not. We're not together. Together. If you know what I mean. And it... It just gets a little confusing. No, I, I uh, don't mean to blind you with, you know, mixed messages or anything. It's just that, you know, I care about you. So I'm assuming. Always have, always will. I mean, you're the best. The best. I mean, what the hell? You held my hand through this whole Damon fiasco. He's a great kid. Yeah, well, he's working on it. Oh my. Colby? Colby, honey, can we uh, talk about yesterday? Please don't shut me out. Okay, listen, I... I might not be the best mother, but... I, honey, I love you so much. Okay, I'm not going to talk about Damon. Well, hey, why don't you see the two of us go for a little shopping? That would be great. You know, there's this great car dealership on Route 3. If you have the cash, I have the time. What are you doing here? I live here. <sighs> You're just using my daughter. You know what? You may be able to con her, but you can't con me. Whatever. Hey, Damon. What do you say I give you the money for that car? Excuse me? Two grand? If you stay away from my daughter. Not so fast. I know the terms. What's the problem? You have to leave here immediately. You got it. And be nice to her when you break up. Do not crush her on the way out the door. I actually care about Colby too much to hurt her. It's really sad that you don't feel the same way. <laughs> I'm not wrong about you. And this here is the proof. What are you doing here? Well, I, I really, I didn't like the way we left things yesterday. <laughs> And whose fault was that? So, what is she trying to pull this time? Oh, she's just being her sweet, wonderful self. What do you say we get out of here? Go someplace quiet. You up for that? Definitely. Mother, you know the way out? Damon. Man, every time I try and leave, you stop me. You must really like me or something. You let her down easy. Got it. Anything for you. Thanks for the check. 